Well, it's here. Look, yes. And I can tell you for one, Wurzel is very, very happy. Honestly, he wanted to dress up full party style, but we can't get a hat small enough. But either way, he's got his badge back on, he's wearing my old lanyard, and he's even got a K9 badge on. Yes, he is so happy, because it's here. Yay! Right, it's just arrived. In fact, I think the envelope is still wet, because it's raining outside, but we're going to open it now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Excellent. Right, right. no delays. Let's get into this thing. All right. Dun, dun, dun. You stand aside, words. Yes. Both hands in you. Envelope. All right. Tear off strip. Oh, what a lovely noise. Da, 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 da. There we go. There it is. The unofficial Doctor Who annual. 1989 front back and the spine yes monty python Aben holmes they've all got big red books and now have we yes excellent oh now then some of the content let's get the way first did appear in this earlier the unofficial dot to us adventures in space time and beyond including bonus material for this before this was even out. Yay! Good. Tell us out the way. Because this is the star exhibit. This is what you're here for. The latest in the series. And just as a quick recap, for those who are coming late, we have had the unofficial 1972 annual. We have had the unofficial Master Annual. And we've also had the unofficial Doctor Who Annual 1987. And in case anyone was wondering what becomes between 1987 and 1989 may i recommend this toy for the witch's familiar which according to the text says the witch's familiar 1988 so there you go makes sense it's all timey wimey isn't it moving out of the way let's move them out of the way and take a look at this baby yes what should we say jelly baby <laughs> it looks like an annual that's the first thing you're going to say. It feels like it feels like an annual. It looks like an annual. Let's see if it quacks like one, shall we? All right. Let's look inside. Ooh, sound of newness. Okay, first legendary flip through. All right, do you get all that? Well, if you were sort of Holmes from Holmes and Yo-Yo, remember that series? You would have read it by now. Oh, what else is in here? Let's, let's look inside. Oh, the end papers. Yes, another breakfast one by Smuzz. Doctor and Ace Fishing. What are they using as bait? Hmm. Let's look at that annual. That annual. That logo. Oh, it looks great, doesn't it? And oh, there he is, the man himself. Introduction, Andrew Cartmel. Every dot has his day. I'm just going to say things at random now. Okay. And flip through the book. Nice picture there. The enemy within. Should we say a story where the writer and artist are related to each other? But moving on, I must say though, very nice. Features, special effects, a castle fit for Arani. More stories. I like the way it changes colour. White background, dark background. It must just make it feel very, very annual. That's what you want. Tip toes. Wicked tales. Well, we can but hope. Lessons learned. Ah, Paul McCaffrey art. I'm counting artists here because it's easy to recognise art styles. 
you have to read stories. It takes more time. Oh, nice cutaway there. One doctor, seven men. Oh, it's looking back at 25 years, which it would have been. Very nice. The powerful Professor Oz. Oh, Professor of Oz. A little of in there. I see what they did there. More nice art. Puzzle page. Oh, remember those? Other worlds beyond the annuals, a little featurette of sort of expanded universe type stuff. Hi, Daleks. <laughs> Colour your illustration as if you were, well, those who are more, so to say, junior persuasion might actually go for that. Family in space, all right, Jupiter 2. What did Gemini 2 in the first one, the pilot? Do -do. We're all nerds at heart, we know all this stuff. A familiar esque robot. Oh, second feature about Mike Tucker. Behind the scenes, visual, BBC visual effects. Stories. Comic strip. Uh, they say, uh, people from the Beano. Actually, there were some sketches by the artist in the additional content in that, remember, Riley? Right? It, you know, it looks Beano, doesn't it? It's even the style. A look at the music, because he did... He did some work on the actual show. Look at that. Booty records and tapes. Records and tapes. More puzzles. Another story. I know that one did appear in the, um, as a sneak peek in the omnibus. The comic strip. No written story. That one appeared in the Underbus as well. I remember the title. Riddles. Bit of carry on styling, shall we say? Oddly enough, Carry On Doctor had uh, let's get a Peter Butterworth in it, who obviously was the meddling monk and makes an appearance in that annual. And also featured Julian Holloway, who appeared in Survival, which was in 1989. Highly appropriate for this year. Just thought I'd mention that. And they were in Carry On Doctor. There's a lot of commonality between shows of the period and the film. A maze. Be amazed at the maze. Ooh, Tim Quinn, Dickie Howard. Yes, familiar names from Doctor Who magazine. Oh, those who know their sort of video game knowledge will recognise that name of the infamous legendary arcade machine. Urban Myth, should we put it down this? Artwork by Jessica Martin. Oh, Jessica Martin. Now graphic novelist, by the way. Ooh. Was it is? Oh, we know what that's all about. I remember those days. Are you a swap shop? Or you tis was? It's a bit like if you're Magpie or Blue Peter. You know, there was a definite split. Just saw the name Zamo. I think, oh, I wonder that could be referring to. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we came towards the end of the book. Yes, all good things must come to an end. 
the hunt and hunted and mag's tale oh yes it's actually sort of a prequel to the greatest show in the galaxy and puzzle solutions oh spoilers just realized that and then the end papers again well, there you go how about that the unofficial doctor who annual 1989 oh try and get the reflection out now then the uh the text below will contain links to the facebook group uh the page on lulu to order this all the known discount codes and they change quite often they actually they do advertise those codes within themselves um but anyway this is time limited so if you want one of these please order now now this is an unofficial product okay director's publications obviously it's referencing world distributors that uh, annual company of old also based in manchester um well everybody here has given their time for free right no one's been paid okie dokie so if you want this it's print on demand you buy it from lulu um you print it and send it to you in the post as just demonstrated just now um and that's it really it's be time limited just to make it a little bit exclusive but not number limited so if you want one you buy one and please do it soon don't wait uh, i can't stress that enough all right these are nice guys they'll leave it open as long as they've seen fit and in the past there have been second print ones of things or second allowances but it isn't guaranteed and so basically just please just try and not get it from the secondary market because those prices are expensive really look up the price of that one really or don't or you'll cry okay so that's anyway, that's the unofficial doctor who annual 1989 it's a proper book proper thickness proper content all right so be proper good to yourself and get it for yourself and considering it's a season of goodwill well shortly um may be treat somebody else all right if you're fortunate enough to be able to get one of these and you know somebody who isn't you know it might be worth feeling good about things so with that i bid you adieu and i've got a very excited wurzel here yeah he is there again he's looking forward to this he really is and i might let him have it now other than christmas you like that wouldn't you yeah you would right well thank you for watching and take care and see you next time Bye for now.